box? Who's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Bob's Basement Toy Blog. As you can see, today is going to be a day of two boxes. So we've got one there, one there. Just figured uh, they're in the way. I'm trying to move to other things. Um, I did find some interesting boxes of autographed uh, uh, photos that I have. Darth Vader, the Riddler, Boba Fett. Um, so those were cool, but they're not toys, so we're not really focusing on them. And they're just right to my side here, but they're all wrapped in bubble wrap. Um, so I found some interesting things as I, as I try to find the right tub. I, I do look at things, found some clothes. So there's a lot, a lot of things down here that are not just toys. Um, I can honestly say everything behind me that way and that way is all toys. So at least initially when I moved into this house, I was able to set certain things up um, so I can get to it. Um, so today, as you can see, we are going to deal with uh, two major boxes. The first box is a Captain America first uh, vendor box. Now this was a box that was sent to me by Hasbro um, when the first movie came out. So this was loaded with toys. Um, uh, there was a Marvel Legend in here. There was a shield. It fired Nerf darts. There was a mask. It was a whole bunch of crazy Hasbro product themed stuff. Um, the cool part is I used to love the box. Uh, this is great stuff. I love things like this. Um, it's an extra level. It came shipped like this. I don't know how they do this. I don't think you could do that today and get Porch Pirates. Um, I'd say in the last three or four years, if I do get stuff from Hasbro, it just comes in a regular shipping box. I know they do have these, but they're for higher tier people now, I guess. I don't know. Um, influencers. Um, I consider myself one, but hey, you know, I didn't get one. Uh, the second box is a straight up one uh, that I just have labeled uh, Fragile. And we're going to do that one first so you can see me, and then I can move this box in. And, you know, it's more tantalizing the Captain America box. So here we go. Open this up. Now, um, this was packed in March of 2019. So this stuff isn't too old. Yeah, it's relatively recent, so to speak. Um, so I see a number 38 here. Black Series figure. And this is a Emperor's Royal Guard Black Series from Ollie's. Three, uh, I'm sorry, $5.99. Ollie's uh, got these. Um, I probably have about five Emperor Royal Guards now. I should really... One of the things that I want to do in this massive change, this massive, like, organizing of everything, is put all my Black Series figures together. They all have these little numbers. You can put them in boxes and just line them up, and you go, oh, I've got 38, 37, 36, just so that I can see who I have. Um, the other day, I found one before I started all this, and I was like, I didn't even know I had Qui-Gon Jinn. Totally forgot. So there he is. Um, we're going to hold on to him. We'll sit him up here. Um, oh, this is nice. This was a gift uh, from my boss here at Total Toy Recon, uh, MJ Ortiz. He hooked me up with this uh, Ollie's. Uh, I think Ollie's had them on sale. Um, and these were the uh, Black Series 375. Um, this was the Walker. So these were hitting. These were like, I think these were like 60 or 70 bucks. I think they're initially a Walmart exclusive. And they just dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped. And eventually they showed up at Ollie's for like $11.99. Um, they were at TJ Maxx and Ross's and stuff. Um, Walmart, in and, and my honest opinion, just just does not know how to capitalize on these exclusives. I think they overorder in bulk. I think certain stores get too many and other stores get none. And they don't pinpoint where they actually need to go. Case in point right now is the Java's Palace. Um, it's a it's a it's a fifty sixty dollar toy depending on where you live, and they are rotting on the shelf. It comes with two figures, and it's a nice little backdrop for Han Solo in the carbon freeze, and they're just sitting there. And is it really the two figures alone are probably for twenty five bucks? So really, you're paying for an extra twenty five thirty dollars for this piece of plastic, but they're rotting on the shelf. So eh, it's one of those things. A lot of stupidness going on. What's up, Dave? Hello, Rob. Thanks for tuning in. Um, all right, we got a lot of bubble wrap in here, so we're going to get to these. Oh, so this is another nice gift from my boss. Uh, bought this for me. Uh, we love hitting the GameStop clearance. I think he was 50% off. Um, to tell you the truth, I'm not a big fan of Snoke. 
Um, I really wanted it for the throne. So technically you're kind of getting two figures there for, for 20 bucks. Um, uh, but I wanted it for the throne. Um, this is obviously something that's going to have to be open because the box is pretty bad. Um, here is the Kylo Ren black series exclusive. I, this may have been target or Walmart. I think it was target had these as exclusives, uh, for a little bit. And I think I got it really for like, I think they were on sale one day for like 20 bucks. Um, I think they were like 30 because you get, you get a little bit, you get a backdrop, you get a stand, you get a lightsaber, extra helmets, heads, the whole bit. Um, these are cool. Um, I like these as collectibles. Um, there was a Ray, there was a, uh, a Luke. So, uh, oh, this was great. This was awesome. This was an awesome find. So, um, I really wanted the Diamond Select Green Lantern Resin Bust. Um, initially these were, I think these were $49.99. Um, I got it on clearance. I don't know if you can see it. I might as well just hold this up. Um, this was a GameStop exclusive. It's out now and you can get it from other retailers. It's not just GameStop, but they were having a statue sale. All statues were $9.99. So I got it for 10 bucks. Great find. We hit a bunch of places, found a uh, Black Manta and a couple others. So uh, really like uh, the bust itself, uh, the base itself. It's a green mist of the Green Lantern. So really like this. And then you can take off that piece. It goes around his ring. It's 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 a neat, it's a neat collectible. So ooh, here it is. So this box will probably get everything put back in. But this is the uh... oh, it's your last day of work. Well, you're gonna have to tune in at noon every day. Sorry, Dave. I really hope you're not unemployed or they just gave you a, a little furlough. Uh, this is the Han Solo Minoc Hunt, and there he is in there. I hope you can see him. Yeah. Comes with the Minoc. Um, this was a bit of a sore subject for me uh, because collectability-wise, um, we had ordered these from Hasbro. Uh, this was a Comic-Con exclusive. Ordered him from Hasbro, and the day he arrived... The UPS man left him in the rain, and there was no plastic cover, no box, no nothing. I mean, he was in a box, but they left the box in the rain. So the box, this was in a box with another one stacked on top of it, another exclusive, no bag, no bubble wrap, no nothing, and the box had sat in the rain. He would left it on the step. He didn't even put it on the porch. So it just soaks straight through. We have a full video on our YouTube page. And then the hassle we went through to get them. And then we eventually just reordered them and had a refund sent to us. After we documented everything, sent them all these pictures. I had so many pictures of how damaged it was. I had to put them in a PDF and mail them to them, email them to them. After the entire fiasco with Hasbro, I mean, th their fault was not the UPS man. Our beef with them was, look how you packed it. You could have, all of this could have been saved with a simple plastic bag that you could have put into the case and it would have been fine. Um, so that was a big deal. The video was like 30 minutes long, but it's totally worth it. And then um, they put them up for sale five days later, again, the leftover stock. So we just ordered it, paid again for it, and then had our money refunded almost like three months later. And then... For our trouble, they gave us 15% off. I mean, it was it was a really a horrible experience in one customer service because, and not that the people were rude, but the fact that they didn't know what they had. And they, they told us they weren't allowed to know if there were any more coming because they don't want it to get out on the blogs. So being that Total Toy Recon is actually owned by a fulfillment company, we know that there are so many that you have to keep because, you know, there's there's going to be returns, there's going to be damaged ones, you know, so we knew that there was going to be more. It's just logical in the business that we're in that this is going to happen. So it, 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 just watch the whole video. It, it's a fantastic video. Um, so this is the Captain America box. Now I'm going to show you this. This is how they send us. Uh, they'll send us like they used to send us uh, a flash drive or a, uh, a disc. That would have all the pictures on it and everything. So this is from like 2012. Um, 
Wow, the address on it is my LA address, so that's when I got this. Um, so we'll keep this off here to the side, and already, uh, already bad news. So this is my Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan. I would say that that card is no longer in mint condition. Yeah. Ouch. So, um, yeah, look for the review of this action figure very, very soon, because I'm going to open him up and see what he looks like. All right. Um, I don't know how that happened, but it's bad. Um, here is an applause vinyl uh, Darth Vader. These were all numbered, but it doesn't tell you how many there were. So this was 8,775 from 1995. Hopefully his helmet is somewhere in this box, or I am going to cry. Um, here is totally empty. Here is the box to Darth Maul's uh, Sith Speeder from Episode 1. We did a lot of Episode 1 stuff the other day. Um, ah! Yay! All good. Helmet there. Why? I mean, it's cool that they show that you can see the back of his head, but talk about making something that is just easily uh, to, to lose, easy to lose. And he's actually stepping on a, a Rebel Fleet Trooper helmet. I always thought that was a nice touch. Um, I have no idea what's in this gap bag. Oh, okay, so this is interesting. And these guys will get bagged up properly. Um, so there was a blizzard a couple years ago, and the wife and I... Uh, we did some fun pictures outside of uh, Star Wars characters with Hoth troopers and stuff. Here is the Ice Cream Man. One of the oddest figures in the history of Star Wars. Hopefully his little thingy is in here. And then here is... Um, here is Winter Gear uh, Anakin Skywalker. So I don't know what this little box is, but definitely have to make sure those guys get bagged and boxed. Especially... The Ice Cream Man. So here is... Oh, so we've been finding bits and pieces, and I've been telling everybody as I do this, I've been putting things back together. Here is a mixture of uh, two different Lego sets. We have the Emperor's Throne Room and Qui-Gon Jinner in there. And then there's also a... Um, what's up, Jimmy? Uh, there's also a Darth Maul lightsaber... Uh, nope, that's a Obi-Wan keychain. The things I have. We'll put that over there. Um interesting so here is uh i had mentioned him earlier i think i have three of these guys um i had made i uh, took a casey jones from teenage mutant Ninja turtles and i made him into a horror figure uh for uh, a film that my friends and i had done this is an original i can't believe i painted this this is an original he-man sword uh for castle grayskull and i painted it bloody so he'd have a like a machete weapon so one of my early customs um, turned out really good, actually. So, put them to the side. Um, here is the arm to Galactus from the old Marvel Legends. Um, I got the thing. I think he came with the thing. That or he came with Doctor Strange, and my buddy gave me that. So that's going to go in the miscellaneous box. Um, I had mentioned several times that I was a big fan of Happy Meal toys. So there is the Batman Beyond. Now, look at that. That is basically an action figure and they mount it to this base so you really can't play with it so you'd really have to break it off of there to play with it he even has legs like they mounted a figure there and then somehow this like it does this but somehow these i guess these are supposed to go up weird happy meal toys this is burger king 2000 yeah You'll have to get sorted. Here is one, uh, another Burger King toy that, uh... no, this is McDonald's. This is McDonald's. Made for McDonald's 2011. Nice little Batman there. Not bad. Hopefully when the sun's old enough. Oh, the wings flap up. Watch. I guess you just tap this or, there you go. Nice. Um, oh. So this is another one of the Star Tours uh, Disney characters. This is Minnie Mouse as Slave Leia. So we have Han Solo Donald Duck. We have some Stormtrooper Donald Duck. We have a Shadow Trooper Donald Duck. 
We have a Mickey as Luke. So. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, I just reviewed the new Diamond Select Rocketeer uh, figure. And I said the only Rocketeer toy I ever had was a suction cup Rocketeer. And there he is. So, miscellaneous box. Going to go in there. Oh, good. Here is the Sith Speeder in a bag with a lightsaber and everything that it came with. So that'll go back in the box. Oh, okay, so here's my, here's that must be my wife's um, action figure of the Ice Cream Man from Star Wars. Uh, Wilro Hood. So there he is with all of his stuff bagged, got his gun, got his droid part, and I've got, so we, every uh, Star Wars fans all know this is the Ice Cream Maker, because that's what it really was. But if you watch The Mandalorian, this is now a safe, like a, a portable locking safe that you can bring, like a, like a bank bag. Um, that's what they, they used it for on The Mandalorian. And so that establishes that he was actually taking something of value in Empire Strikes Back. Um, wow. Wow. These are... Wow. Okay. Uh, is he in here? He's in here. So, yeesh. So these were, these were handed out at Comic-Con. Each day at Comic-Con, uh, they were really hyping up the vintage collection. Um, so they were handing out these cards, and they're just the cards. So that was Han. You had to come back to the Hasbro booth e each day. And they were nice enough. They gave they hook you up with a bunch. But it's nice to have pure cards, unpunched. Vader, Luke. As a collector, you know, it's fun stuff you can have. Um, and build onto your collection and maybe make displays out of. So I think, nope, this is, these are all of the 12 inch diamond, uh, uh, DC Direct uh, Rorschach uh, parts. His gun, his hands, his grappling hooks, all the things are in this bag. So we have Rorschach. I know that we've, we should have two. Um, God only knows where he is. Here is a wind up ET from way back in the day. Got decent color. I wonder if he still works. And eh, we'll figure it out later. Uh, one of my original Boba Fett's. Nice little bag. This is a weird mixture of things. This must have been stuff that was in my office that kind of got uh, folded into just one big box. So this is an interesting mixture of two things. So if I take away some of this stuff, it's obvious what he is. This is the original 12-inch Indiana Jones uh, doll. So clearly I need Indy's shirt, um, his whip, his belt. Those things are gone. But because they just recycled the head to Harrison Ford, I do have his hat, which, boy, has this hat seen better days. Um, since I do have, since it is just a recycled Harrison Ford, my brother lost the Han Solo. We still have, even though he lost the Han Solo, we still have the Han Solo gun blaster and his medallion that he came with so that's an interesting hodgepodge of harrison ford characters together that's a little odd um piece of foam must have used it for padding and then here is oh no so here is this is original alex art alex ross artwork that was inside the um unbreakable uh, original DVD release. This needs to be flattened, and this needs to go back in the DVD case, so I'll take care of that a little bit later. Yeesh. Didn't think that. Here's another uh, Applause Vinyl Spider-Man. Those are neat. I have a bunch of those. Oh, it still has the, uh, still has the tag. Is it Applause, or is it Presents? It's Presents. Hamilton Gifts. It came from a Hamilton store. Weird. Um, so, I've got three big white boxes in here oh here's an this is neat this is one of the star wars the clone wars toy catalogs of the day they don't do this much so it must have come in one of the vehicles that i have oh is it more than one or did it just rip it may have just ripped but it's a little artwork designs this is also stuff that 
Yeah, it ripped right out. Um, also, stuff that I would pick up at Comic Con. They give you stuff like this at Comic Con left and right. So, you know, all the new figures coming out. Oh, and as I mentioned, there's the disc with all the Captain America high resolution images and product details. Um, so, that's that. Now, uh, so I really was excited when Mattel did their Maddie Collector um, line of Masters of the Universe figures. Uh, I had a lot of Masters of the Universe, not a lot, lot, but I had enough. I had about 15. Um, and there were lots of them. Um, I was really excited. These these were high end collectibles, about, like anywhere. I think they were about forty dollars a figure, um, and they, they you had like a you had like a minute to get them, and you could belong to a club, and it was all this stuff. So I do have a bunch of them. Um, I got rid of a bunch recently. I'll probably do the same. But here is Hero. So he's in decent shape. Um, and like I said, these were like 40 bucks a piece. So you had to like order these special. Um, they they used to say on the front who was who, but they stopped doing that after a while. Um, I guess it was just cheaper to make the box. This was my first one, and this was Zodak. And this was the other Zodak. There are two. There's one you spell it with a, a C, and one you spell it with a K. So this was the other Zodak figure, Mystic Enforcer. Awesome sculpt, design, everything about these figures were great. Um... And then this big boy, I think, is the Shadow. Nope. This is the Molar vs. Skeletor box set. So, one year at Comic-Con, I, uh, I really wanted this very funny, funny release from Maddie Collector. And what it was, was they had made the Attorney and Dentist. And uh, he was actually from an episode of Robot Chicken, and he was pulling Skeletor's teeth. So I really, really wanted to get uh, that figure um, because I just thought it was ridiculous. So I picked one of these up for myself. My wife, who was just my friend at the time, she said, can you get me one? And I was like, yeah, sure. So that's two. Look at the size of this box. So... I put out there that I was going to Comic Con, and I said, "Does anybody would anybody be interested in anything, uh, picking up anything?" And this was only, I think, my second or third year, and and so far it hadn't been a big hassle for me to do anything. Well, I put the word out there, and I ended up bringing four of these bad boys home. Four of these home. I didn't mind doing it for the people that I did it for, but. I couldn't do that today because of flight regulations and how much they charge extra for you to put stuff in. I had a big suitcase, thankfully, and didn't pack a lot of clothes. That was a very big pain in the butt to do. So, do a wrap up here. Um, so, as we go, uh, it was great that I could put Vader, make sure that Vader was all fine together again. Um, awesome that I found Rorschach's weapons to the 12-inch doll. Now, I know he was on display at my apartment in L.A., so he's out here somewhere. It's just a matter of time until I find him. Um, finding not one, but two Wilro hoods is great. Hopefully, I can find the other ice cream machine that he goes with. Um, there is a box of loose Star Wars figures over in the other room. It's probably in there. But I kept all the pieces, How you know, of this one here, and it's nice to have an extra one. So I wish one was still in the pack because this is a figure that uh, fans are, you know, still trying to find. They haven't re-released him, and he got close to being a uh, a fan choice exclusive Black Series at one point. So within the last year or so, um, and then finding my Rocketeer um, uh, suction cup guy, fantastic! Just really cool that I found that because I just talked about it. And I was really hoping that I find it, but. I think the I think that's it. I think the best thing that I was really kind of happy to find um, was definitely Will Rowe Hood, the uh, ice cream man from Star Wars, because I really, more or less, I really wanted the little safe locking device thing he had. So when I get the vintage collection um, Mandalorian, I'll be able to put that in his arm or you know do that kind of cool stuff. So it's all about world building, people, and having little things like that really makes a big difference. Um, I'm making good progress. I'm actually starting to move things into, I have three, I won't say levels to my basement, but three areas of my basement um, outside of where the washing, uh, the washer and the dryer are. 
I'm starting to actually move into the next room and start to sort through things. So this is great. Um, thank you for tuning in to Bob's Basement uh, Toy Blog. Um, Total Toy Recon has been posting uh, comic book news. We've been posting movie trailers, um, updates from Hasbro on all the Black Series figures that were announced earlier this week. We just put up our 25 Black Series figures that we still need. Um, and even then, somebody commented on Instagram about like 10 other figures. I'm like, man, we could have done 35. But we've been after these 25 for a while now. Um, it's nice when we do a list like this and then we can cross stuff off. Um, but the list is always a good generator. And we know that places like Hasbro actually look at those lists. They, 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 they see who people are talking about in the forums. I guess that's considered a forum now. And they'll be like, oh, wow, everybody was really excited on this post about Bid Fortuna, but everybody on this post wanted Ewoks. You know, so it, it, it's also, they also have to work with what the studio wants at the time. Uh, so, again, thank you for tuning in. These are reposted on YouTube. We post links to them on Instagram, and they live here on Facebook. Thank you so much. This is Bob signing off. Please be safe. Remember, it's a great time to connect with your family, get some stuff done around the house, and try not to lose your mind. Have a good day.